This video is one in a series of Norfelco sulfuric acid safety information videos. It is very important that you screen the first video, the professional approach to personal safety, which contains vital information on the nature of the product, safe handling practices, personal safety equipment and procedures, first aid, and what to do if an accident occurs. Buy tank car, truck, or ship. The most widely used industrial chemical, sulfuric acid, is continuously and safely on its way to industrial operations across the continent. Norfelco sulfuric acid products have been produced and shipped by experienced professionals. And the first video in this series, Sulfuric Acid, the Professional Approach to Personal Safety, contains information vital to anyone involved in handling sulfuric acid. It explains the highly reactive and corrosive nature of sulfuric acid. The protective clothing required when handling it and how to check and wear it effectively. For instance, wearing all cuffs outside of gloves and boots to avoid acid draining into them. There is useful information on the location, maintenance and use of safety showers and eyewash stations. Experienced advice on recognizing personal hazards and what to do if an accident does occur. This information is also available in the Norfelco Sulfuric Acid Technical Guide and in material safety data sheets in TechQuips and at our website www.norfelco.com. For further information, contact a Norfelco customer service representative. The information will be useful in establishing an internal emergency measures program for your company. An important part of this would be posting emergency response phone numbers in all key locations and in training and operating manuals. Norfelco also has printed material on emergency measures preparedness and is committed to meeting the principles and codes of the chemical industry's responsible care initiative. Every operator involved in the unloading of sulfuric acid should be qualified and be fully trained in the safe procedures and personal safety requirements. En route to you, responsibility for safety lies with the shipper and transporter. But once through your gate, it shifts to your company and personally and professionally to you, the qualified operator. One carload of sulfuric acid looks pretty much like the last one. And before it leaves Norfalco's loading sites, every car is pressurized, checked for leaks, and depressurized. However, during transit, a car often becomes pressurized due to heat expansion of the contents and from the possible generation of hydrogen, a highly flammable and explosive gas that may occur. In cold weather, a vacuum may form in the tank, presenting other potential unloading problems, like causing a fill hole gasket to be sucked into the tank. It is these and other potential hazards that demand strict adherence to prescribed unloading steps in the correct order. The following procedures are for the most common unloading method used by industry today, pressure unloading of tank cars. Information on an alternate unloading method, pump unloading of tank cars, can be obtained from Norfelco or a qualified contractor. Though requiring additional pumping equipment and some changes to unloading procedures, Pump unloading provides inherently better emergency shutoff control in the event of a hose or piping failure. For pressure unloading, 
use of a remote activation shutoff valve on the hose end connection is recommended to provide a similar level of control. Preparation for unloading should start well before the sulfuric acid car's arrival, because having the time to prepare and do it right is probably the most essential element in any safe work program. A dedicated toolkit should be assembled containing all the tools and spare parts that might be needed before or during the unloading procedure. A set of appropriate tools. A spark-proof inspection light. Spare approved replacement parts like rupture discs and gaskets. A suitable tool for cleaning a blocked pressure release valve. Only approved acid discharge hoses containing an inner lining impervious to the acid being handled and having crimped fittings are to be used. The hose or pipe and its connectors should be checked for kinks, holes or other damage. Discharge hoses should be tested periodically at one and a half times operating pressure and tagged. Use the frequency of testing recommended by the manufacturer. Rubber hoses must never be used for handling sulfuric acid. When using pressure unloading, the use of a remotely activated shutoff valve on the tank car, located just before the hose connection, is recommended to enable quick shutdown of flow in the event of a hose failure. For more detailed information on sulfuric acid hose specifications and testing recommendations, refer to our TechQuip or contact an Orfelco customer service representative. The compressed air system that will be used to pressurize the tank car to discharge the acid should be in full working order utilizing the proper gauges and valves and must have a supply of clean, dry, oil-free air from the plant or from a dedicated compressor. Nitrogen padding can also be used. A water hose should be in place to wash tools and the top of the car after unloading in accordance with local environmental regulatory requirements, but only after the car has been completely resealed and readied for shipment. A complete set of approved personal protective equipment as seen in the professional approach to personal safety and in the Norfelco Sulfuric Acid Technical Handbook should be checked and put on in the proper manner before unloading is attempted. As the tank car arrives, it is spotted into position. The wheels chalked on both sides of the wheel. And the handbrake is set. If more than one car is to be unloaded at one time, refer to regulations applicable in your area. Caution signs, blue flags, are then positioned on the track or railway vehicle to warn persons approaching the vehicle from either end of the siding. Where needed, the track where the vehicle is being unloaded should be protected by a locked switch or derail to prevent incoming traffic from colliding with the tank car. The use of a checklist will help ensure all arrival procedures are completed. All paperwork, placards and product identification must now be verified. Tank cars look alike, 
and you must be sure you have the right product, especially if you are responsible for unloading other types of products at your plant. Special instructions must be noted, and the quantities in the car and levels in the storage tanks checked to make sure that there is enough room in the storage tank to accept the complete load. This is also a good time to check that you are using the correct tank line and correct valve position. The objective of all unloading steps is to give you complete control. First, to reduce any potential hazard from a buildup of pressure or hydrogen gas, and then, when the car has been properly prepared, to pressurize it with your controlled air supply to discharge the acid in a safe, orderly manner. On the top, or dome, of the tank car can be found all the controls and fixtures for its safe unloading. Top fittings on tank cars may vary in design and position. Norfalco is currently modifying all tank cars to the new low-profile fittings design. Typically, the dome will have the following fittings. A three-bolt hinged fill hole cover with a gasket seal with gauge bar inside. A two-inch discharge, eduction pipe, closed with a pipe cap. A one-inch air connection and pressure release valve. A safety vent assembly containing a rupture disc to protect the tank from excessive pressure. The fill hole, eduction, acid discharge, and air fittings are identified with metal tags. If the car you receive has a different configuration of fittings and you are unsure of their function, call a Norfelco customer service representative. If the car you receive has a washout plug and flange on the bottom of the car, these should be visually checked as they are potential hazards if they should start to leak. Norfelco is currently modifying cars to remove these washout plugs. The fill hole and its cover will, at the right time, play an important part in the unloading process. The eduction, or acid discharge pipe, reaches to the bottom of the tank for the complete discharge of the contents. It is this pipe and its cap that present a serious potential hazard to the unloader, because the car may have pressure inside from heat expansion or the possible generation of hydrogen. If the eduction pipe cap is removed before you depressurize the car, acid will be forced up the pipe and you will be splashed. On the new low profile fittings, the pressure release valve, which will become the connection for your compressed air supply, is separate from the safety vent assembly. With a final check of your personal safety equipment, the operator does his own check of the operation of safety showers and eye wash stations to make sure they are working correctly and that the warning systems are operating when they are used. And keeping in mind that any form of ignition like smoking or welding near an acid car full or empty can be explosive, the unloading procedure can begin. The procedure is straightforward, but as a professional, you will appreciate knowing exactly what each fitting does and why it is critical that the steps be followed in order, as it is essential to your and your co-workers' personal safety. Examine all valves to be certain that they are in the closed position before removing caps, plugs, or flanges. The first step in the unloading sequence is to depressurize the tank car. And the only safe way is through the pressure release valve, never through the fill hole cover. If you were to open the fill hole cover before depressurizing the car, you could be sprayed by acid mist under pressure 
or in cold weather, a vacuum might suck the gasket into the tank, resulting in possible blockage of the acid discharge line. All pressure release fixtures have a valve and plug. First, check that the valve is in the closed position. Then, slowly remove the plug. Operators should position themselves in such a way as to avoid coming in contact with any escaping gases or air. Slowly open the valve. If no air is heard escaping from the open valve, use a suitable tool, a thin rod, to unplug the hole, as sulfate crystals may have blocked the valve, preventing depressurization. It is important not to confuse this pressure release valve with the nearby eduction pipe cap. Because as you just saw in the graphic, if the eduction pipe cap is removed before depressurization, acid will be forced up the pipe and you will be splashed. Attach the airline adapter fitting. The next step is to check the condition of the rupture disc by removing the locking pin and lifting the rupture disc assembly cover. Report any damaged rupture disc to a Norfelco customer service representative. If the rupture disc is damaged, replace it with a regulation one from your kit. Never with a substitute or homemade device. Rupture discs should be rated for 165 PSI or is stenciled on the car. With the pressure fully released, the car is now ready to be vented to clear any possible buildup of potentially explosive hydrogen gas or any remaining pressure. Check that the seal applied at our plant is intact. Inform a Norfelco customer service representative if the seal is broken. Carefully open the fill hole cover, noting that the bolt nearest the handle has a safety catch to prevent the cover from flying open and must be lifted higher to release it. Leave the cover open for a few minutes before sampling its contents. Avoid damaging the tank lining if a measuring or sampling device must be used, or by allowing foreign objects to fall into the tank. Inform a Norfelco customer service representative if an object is accidentally dropped into a tank car and cannot be easily removed. When the sampling is complete, and while the fill hole cover is still open, and only then, the cap on the adduction pipe can be removed. This must be done very slowly to relieve any pressure that may be left in the pipe so that you are not splashed with acid. This is a good time to visually check the condition of the cap gasket used in the newer designed fittings. The fill hole is then closed, making sure the gasket is properly seated and the bolts fully tightened. An appropriate connecting valve assembly, commonly called a Christmas tree, and its adapter pipe, is attached to the eduction acid discharge pipe. Verify that the connections are not corroded and pipe threads are not damaged. There are two valves on the Christmas tree fitting. One is the acid outlet valve and the other one is an acid air valve to be used for flushing the entire system if you should interrupt the normal unloading procedure. The acid outlet valve should be open. 
and the acid air valve always closed. For added safety, you may install a pneumatic or electrically operated acid shutoff valve that can be operated remotely. Alternatively, a chain or rope attached to the acid shutoff valve may also be used to close the valve from a distance, stopping the acid flow in case of an emergency, where a severe leak does not permit access to the top platform of the car. Use an appropriate tie-down on any quick disconnect fittings if used. Again, check for corrosion and connect one end of an approved acid discharge line to the adduction acid discharge pipe on top of the car and the other end to the inlet pipe of the storage tank. Then open all acid valves. Because of the high specific gravity or weight of sulfuric acid, a flexible acid line must be supported during discharge. Connecting the acid line must be done before connecting the air line. By connecting the acid hose first, you provide a safe route for the acid even if the tank car accidentally becomes pressurized. With the safe route for the acid established and the fill hole cover secure, the air line can be connected to the tank car through the air inlet using an appropriate adapter and further secured with an appropriate tie-down. Clean, dry air or nitrogen is supplied by a control system consisting of a water oil separator, a shutoff valve, a pressure reduction valve set at 25 to 28 psi, a pressure gauge, calibrated at frequent intervals. A safety relief valve, set at the industry standard 30 PSI. And a manual valve, to release pressure when the tank is empty. Once you are sure that all preparation steps have been done in the correct order, you may start to discharge the product. Slowly open the airline valve to apply pressure, also called padding, to the tank car. Check for acid leaks at the connections and on the hose. A trained operator should be present throughout the discharge procedure. A pressurized car should never be left unattended because lines or hoses can fail. If a leak is discovered, immediately shut off the air to the car. Depressurize the tank car by opening the pressure release valve on the air supply line. And when the pressure is at zero, disconnect the air line. Depending on where the leak occurred, the acid air valve on the Christmas tree could be used to purge the acid back to the customer's storage tank or to the tank car. The one inch valve could be used to blow acid out of the unloading hose and or line. Call a Norfelco customer service representative for advice. Ensure all lines are drained of acid. Deal with the spill according to standard plant procedures. If possible, make repairs and restart unloading. Do not weld or otherwise modify a tank car. If no leak is found, continue discharging. Discharge is complete when you see a decrease in air pressure. The discharge hose starts to vibrate, or you hear the sound of air rushing through the acid discharge line. Sufficient air should be blown through the line to free it of all product. 
The air supply should be shut off and the pressure released by opening the airline release valve. Close the valve to the acid storage tank. Only when the tank is at atmospheric pressure can the airline be disconnected from the tank car. Open the fill hole cover to verify that the car is empty. Close the valve on the outlet of the eduction pipe. Ensure that the acid discharge line is free of product and then disconnect it from the car. Store the hose with dust caps and avoid kinks when storing or use. Regulations require that it is your responsibility to return the empty car to the supplier in a safe condition. A tank car that is not washed and purged and containing a residue of a product must be offered for transport in the same safe condition as a loaded car. Remove the airline adapter and close the pressure release valve. Remove the pressure release valve handle and ensure it is attached to the car. It is vital to make sure all plugs, pipe caps, fill hole gaskets, covers and bolts are returned to their proper place and secured. Be sure you remove all tools from the car. Install the safety chains across the access to the top platform. Wash down your tools and the top of the car. The washing should be collected according to local environmental regulatory requirements. Use a checklist to make sure that the car will meet all the transportation of dangerous goods and hazardous materials regulations. Make sure that all four appropriate placards are applied, clean and in good condition. Then, when ready to move the car, release the brake. Remove all chocks, flags, and derails used to secure the car. If for some reason a tank car cannot be unloaded, or you find a deficient condition with the tank car, contact your Norfalco customer service representative for instructions and disposition of the car. In viewing the first video in this series, the professional approach to personal safety you have seen what to do if you are involved in an acid-related accident or acid spill. Norfelco has an emergency response system in place and 24-hour emergency phone numbers. The appropriate number can be found on the bill of lading. 877-377-2243. 877-ERP-ACID. Additional emergency information can be obtained by calling the telephone numbers noted on the side of the rail car. Regardless of the volume of acid you receive, it is essential that you establish your own internal emergency response plan so that you can respond quickly and correctly to any potential emergency. Plant emergency procedures, all important internal contacts and phone numbers, including your qualified acid spill contractor, and Norfalco 24-hour sulfuric acid emergency phone numbers should be posted in key areas. But the key element in any safe handling program 
will always be well-trained and well-equipped operators who know what is important and why. True Professionals This video is for general information purposes only. Specific advice on handling, safety procedures, and current regulations should be obtained from qualified professionals familiar with your particular operation.